Holy crap! A melee's breaking out before we can even introduce these two tree-hugging manics. This nasty feud could result in somebody's career ending tonight, and I mean Fraser the cameraman or Big J the ref. I don't feel safe this close to these deplorables either. Both are scumbags. One officially. Hey, Big J better look out. Oh, Frazier the cameraman got smacked. Not the first time, unlucky dude. This fight is no time limit. No breaks, no rules, if you couldn't tell already. Bad blood, bad attitudes, bad breath too if I were a betting man. They're still going after each other before the bell. We've got a slow motion replay coming up that's a bit graphic. Hide the women and puppies. I'm sure I saw one of the fighter's cups fall out of his trunks. I hope that was a cup anyway. All right, on the left is rat face Ricky. He's 27, 11, and two. His go-to moves are the tooth taser. Spleen Shuffler, Rear Naked Eye Poke, and the Nose Picker. He's one tough booger. Now something was said, and they're at it again. Take a look at the replay. Is Big J gonna do his job tonight? We can't even get to the opening bell. On the right, we have Scumbag Mac. He's 35, 8, and 5. His patented moves are the Earwax Extractor, Medium Rare Calf Crusher, Figure 4, 5, and 6, the Flea Flicker, a Collar Choke. No touching of the gloves, here we go! Ratface Ricky just tried a Superman punch on Scumbag Mac. Barely missed, but Mac did fall awkwardly on the mat. Like we expected, a lot of ground fighting so far. The replay showed Mac tried his earwax extractor but came up empty. Mac may have caught Ratface with an upkick though. This fight brought to you by Marvel Squirrel Man No Way Home opens Friday. Spoiler alert, the villains are victims. Ratface just took down Scumbag. Now it's a scramble or a tickle fight. Sorry, that was awkward for me too, SFC fans. Probably be an FCC fine coming. In slow-mo, check out the leg lock attempts or illegal tickling, hard to tell, but Ratface did get an eye poke in with his tail. This Ratface may be trash, but his flexibility is world class. And yes, tickling is still illegal even in a no holds barred match. Are we proud to show this nasty fight? No. Is the SFC deeply in debt? Yes. So we've not much choice but to book the pay-per-views that pay the bills, folks. You can see on the close-up replay just how tough these animals are. If they were not such scum, their corners would throw in the towel. Now it's getting nasty. Just a back alley scrap. Hide the kids and buckle your chin strap, fight fans. Kicks, gouges, clawing at the nether regions. This war could result in an unscheduled vasectomy as we may see in the slow-mo replay. Mac blindsided Ricky with a flying heel kick, looking for his figure four, five, and six as they went down. Ricky could have tried a knee bar had his toenail not been grossly overgrown. Got in his way of a submission attempt. Mac circles around, but Ricky cuts off the ring, then flings some loose corn into Mac's face. Dirty move, even for a scumbag. Big J should have deducted a point. The ref under scrutiny for letting his last fight go too long, costing Ricky the squirrel three teeth and seven IQ points. As the action continues, some say Jay's lost a step after contracting bird flu from that flamingo escort service last year. Replay shows Mac hitting below the pelt. Ground and pound going on. Ricky missed the tooth taser, but bit his own lip as Mac shot an elbow in. Fans getting their money's worth. The ref keeps flirting with some celebrities ringside while Mac shows he's the dirtiest player since Ric Flair. More grappling on the ground, Ricky setting up something sketchy there. Fun fact, Mac recently launched his own whiskey, like Conor McGregor, called Furball, like Fireball, but worse. 
Nice of Big J to join the action again. Something off with his attitude tonight. He looks higher than usual. This is war, folks. Trading blows all night. More ground and pound, and by my count, that's four leg lock attempts by Mac. The cardio on these two lowlifes is remarkable. But I'm not sure Ricky can keep this pace up forever. Gotta be difficult to breathe through those tiny rat-like nostrils. His insurance wouldn't pay for that deviated septum surgery last year. Fans, no doubt remember. Now, Ratface using the ring to put space between him and Mac. Ratface, no stranger to distance. The little stalker was recently prohibited from being within 400 feet of Ronda Rousey. Now, both tree rats looking for leg locks. Back and forth, a game of chess, but with fungus-riddled toenails on both critters. This bout also sponsored by fast-acting Tanactin for Athlete's Foot. Order a case for these two flea bags. Look how they were trading big shots. This could be the fight of the year. That would mean a lot to Ricky, once a young fashion model, until he was horribly disfigured in a bird feeder accident. Many fans said he should have sued Tractor Supply over that, but he couldn't afford a lawyer. May have to sue Mac over those strikes, though. Now, both squirrels getting a breather. Good thing, no submission attempts now since again, Big J is M.I.A. again. Now trading big shots, hook to Mac's ear lands. Ricky pouring it on now, but Mac returns fire. A slugfest among the flea infested. Replay shows Mac's lights were nearly put out, went down after that big left by Ratface. There's scum and there's hard to get rid of scum and scumbag is the latter. And most referees would have stopped the fight then and there, but not Big J. Heck, he refuses to even watch the fight. Bet he's been calling the WWE about a contract. Can't blame him. We're nearly bankrupt here. A lot of slipping on the mat tonight. Both fighters are heavy sweaters. Could also be bird droppings. Saw a goose overhead earlier. Now a slick shot to the gut by Mac, but Ricky counters with that rear naked eye poke, parried by Mac though. Slow-mo shows Mac went for his medium rare calf crusher, but Ratface slipped out of the back like a vegan at a barbecue festival. What's holding these two rodents up? Bird seed and big nuts, provided by our sponsor, Nuclear Nuts. Gotta get some bird net next fight, guys. Lots of sticking and moving now. In and out like two cat burglars, but with knockout power and no kitty litter training whatsoever. Mac and Ricky dancing around the ring, looking for openings or acorns. I don't know. Neither fighter giving up on their jab late in the fight. Like Tommy Hearns back in the day. Lot of gamesmanship here. Very patient rodents. Wait, what's this? Outside interference? Outside interference! Mac being chased off by a squirrel with a BB gun. And now Big J shows up too late. It's over, dude. Ricky's gonna get the win despite that ankle looking more swollen than a bullfrog on steroids. Thank goodness an SFC official is investigating. Cheaters won't get past this gray fox. She sees something. Or tastes it, perhaps. Wait, no! I'm being told Ratface Ricky's girlfriend may be the squirrel that interfered. How'd that Ratface get a girlfriend? That's the real mystery. Need a ruling, Miss Foxy. Can't let cheaters sully the proud name of this squirrel fighting organization. Something has her spooked. Probably got a whiff of one of Mac's toenails that got ripped off earlier. Catch your breath, then click on our next fight and witness Crazy Carl in a deadly scaffold match versus Furball McGraw, high above the ground on a specially constructed platform. Don't miss it. Checking with Fraser the cameraman, but he's likely intoxicated by now. Sorry for the rear view footage, folks. Looks like Ricky will get the win due to no reversal before our time slot ends. Now she spotted Big J, like he saw anything. See you next time, fight fans!